Northwest Arkansas and Fox 24 wants to bring you the good happening around your community. And members of the Pentecostals of Northwest Arkansas showed their appreciation for those on the front lines of COVID-19 with a prayer drive. Our Jesse Pierre takes us along for the ride that made six different stops this afternoon in Rogers. We're just taking a small group and then everybody's joining with us on Zoom and, and joining with us in prayer. Uh, in these various places. We're going to use this great technology while we're driving around to be inside of our cars, communicating with one another. I think to be able to go around and to pray for our community and pray over the city of Rogers in Northwest Arkansas, um, to just cover everybody with prayer during this time, I think is very critical. We're praying for our teachers. We're praying for our first responders. We're praying for um, our nursing home, our elderly, those with compromised immune systems. We're praying over those people that are providing basic needs. That these people have somewhat put their lives uh, in jeopardy to deal with people that have the coronavirus that, uh, uh, you know, and, and somewhat have put their lives on hold to make sure that other people are well taken care of. God, I pray right now over this prayer drive. Lord, we're praying for our doctors, our nurses, um, those patients that are there at that hospital right now, covering them with prayer. Mercy Hospital serves the greater Northwest Arkansas area. They are located here in Rogers, and we know that there's many workers inside at this time. Um, we've got so many great people on the front lines doing so many great and wonderful things. This is just our little piece that we can do to give back. My heart definitely goes out to everybody in the healthcare world. This is a time of hope. This is a time for us to come together as a community. I speak your protection over these individuals and their families that they would not be exposed to this virus. In Rogers, Jesse Pierre, Fox 24 News.